Hey there guys, it's Joey and today is Tuesday so it's my turn on the Witches of the Moon and this week's topic is what being a witch means to me and how you started out on the path and I'm actually going to start with what it means to me because I think that feeds really well into how I got involved in, in this sort of thing. So being a witch to me means a great many things and I'm going to try and simplify it as much as I can. For me it's a freedom, it's a great sense of freedom and a great sense of purpose. I think it's the most liberating thing within a spiritual path you can possibly embrace and it's also a huge responsibility. And I'm going to try and explain this as best as I can, so bear with me, I'm not scripted in this, I wanted this just to be an honest conversation about how I feel about being a witch. So I think we'll start with why it is such a responsibility, and versus how it can be a such a responsibility and how it is so freeing at the same time. So it's a huge responsibility because as you become involved in the path of the witch, the path of the wise, however you want to term it, and any um, spiritual path that goes alongside with this, I think you become more aware of energy and how your energy affects people around you and the world around you and how you are responsible for your own words and behaviours. You become more aware of the world around you in forms of nature and the life going on and as you start to celebrate things within nature such as cycles and whether or not you celebrate the actual sabbats and espats, which I do personally because it helps me to connect to those energy cycles, you become more aware of life around you. It takes you out of your own selfish bubble, if you like. I have always felt very much connected to the world around me. Within nature, I honestly believe that nature is the purest form of beauty that there is in our world. Um, I don't think anything man-made or in, involved in the realm of man, and men and women, um, is as beautiful as what can be found within nature. And you will often hear the quote, nature is my church. And t that to me means that you can you can go out there and you can be overwhelmed by how incredible nature and the world around you actually is, how animals um, have adapted to survive and the, the colours, the sights, the sounds, the smells within nature all strike a chord with me on a deep emotional level and move me. And from being very, very young, I was very aware that I felt this way. I would go and sit and watch the sunset and dusk has always been a time that I've connected with particularly and felt incredibly empowered by and whenever there were thunderstorms I could feel the power surging through my body and I felt differently. All of the things that in my mind go towards being a witch are just sort of things that I was innately following anyway, I was sort of born that way. and. It was just putting a label to things that already made sense to me. In terms of responsibility, I've always felt responsible for myself and this has grown as I grow myself and that is something about the witchy path. I think it grows as you grow and it changes and adapts as you do and this is why I honestly believe in this path because it allows for growth and change. If you decide a certain thing doesn't really sit well with you anymore, there is the chance to break through that and become a better person. There is no dogma telling you this is wrong, you must do it this way, you must always do it this way. Um, I don't like, it's very dictated to 
religious dogma at all. I don't believe in that one, one iota. One, it sort of allows for negative interpretations of the dogma to come into somebody's spiritual path so people can justify sexism, racism, homophobia, all the ills of the world. They can, they can um, find justification for such horrible things within dogma and I don't agree with that one, one bit. And also there is the sort of repression of thought it's like you are not allowed to explore and discover for yourself. You must obey these set guidelines. And I've n never been a person who will be dictated to. And the minute people dictate to me, I think my inner rebel starts going, you know what? <laughs> no. And that is why the witchy path to me is, is, is liberating, is freeing. There's plenty of material around. And, and as soon as you sort of realize that you are fully within your rights to disagree with um, the books that you can get your hands on. It's very liberating, very freeing. I started off very early on when I um, started reading and I read for a good five years before I started setting myself onto a path. I started reading about Wicca and there was some incredibly beautiful elements of Wicca. I'm not Wiccan now, I'm actually following a Celtic path um, uh, which is reasonably new and I'm still feeling my way through. But I started initially because on Wicca because there was so much research available and a lot of things that were said within that made a whole lot of sense to me and it was really really beautiful and I'm really really cross whenever I see people like putting Wicca down for whatever reason I think that's really narrow-minded and I think Wicca has some incredibly beautiful elements and the wheel of the year the Sabbaths is something I still celebrate to this day some people might disagree with that outside of Wicca, but the four, uh, four of them are Celtic festivals, so that to me is perfectly acceptable within a Celtic path. And the other four I incorporate anyway. You know, you can trace these things back throughout history, and you know, even even if you do try and trace things back, you can't pinpoint exactly where these things all came from. There are understandings and evidence for these things, but it's not hard in fact. So to me celebrating the Sabbath is about me connecting with the energies of the year and with source and energy. I actually work now with the Morrigan. I have plenty of information on that on my own channel so I'm not going to go into huge amounts of detail with that. Um, but for years and years and years I worked with God and Goddess in a very broad way. I didn't need or didn't feel the need at that point to have um, set names or just you know that sort of thing. I just accepted it in a sort of abstract. This is another thing about the witchy path that I very much believed right from the onset that if there was a creator, um, which I'm going to go into in a second, a creator is the wrong word I think if there was a divine source, if there was a higher form of energy, if there was a higher being than us, um, a higher life form, then I didn't see that it would be necessarily male. I didn't see that it would necessarily be female. I think it's both and neither and far more complicated and abstract than we can possibly hope to understand. And therefore we sort of tunnel vision it a bit to help us as human beings understand. I, I honestly cannot fathom why you would d dictate it as either male or female and not have a balance of both when nature is clearly always both. There is male and female in everything and there are male and female aspects within each gender, you know, it's, it's not these very sort of, sort of walled in things. I, I don't enjoy that one one bit and I don't agree with it personally or my own personal opinion and that's all this is. this is all this is it's just who I am and what I believe in so I've never believed in harming other people and I've always very very much been live and let live that is my main 
um, take on other spiritual paths you know there are many roads up the mountain whatever works for people works for people and as long as they're not harming themselves or anybody else live and let live as far as I'm concerned unfortunately that doesn't always happen within the world but uh, we can only live by example and that's why I think being witch is such a huge responsibility because you have the responsibility to behave in a proper manner if you are truly embracing what it means to be a witch you know whether or not you take on um, ideas from places rather than strict out and out rules is up to you but I mean the idea of not harming anybody is a very I mean it's hugely debated there are huge debates on that whole notion but in general I completely agree I'm like why would you want to harm anybody I don't really understand why you would want to harm anybody else there are the whole the creed of the witch you know which is about self-empowerment becoming a better person than you were yesterday and not forcing dogma or, or your beliefs on anybody else and I b believe in in that you know I wouldn't call them hard and fast rules but I think as general guidelines they're incredible Ugh. so of course there are other elements and it's it's a very I'm f trying very hard to sort of simplify how I feel about it because it's a bit of a mind pff when I try and really encapsulate what I think it is to be a witch and what the drawer is because my view is probably going to be hugely different to other people's you know a lot of people might be like oh well spells and um, animals and crystals and things and whilst all of that appeals to me that's not um, what being a witch is really it's taking all of the tools available to you for a deeper understanding absolutely and a lot of people are quite dismissive of people because of the tools, you know. Um, tarot sometimes gets a very bad rap and oh you must be a complete hippie and crystals and patchouli perfume and like it's a bad thing. It's like well most of the whole idea of being a hippie is reverence for the world around us rather than destroying it so not sure why that becomes such a negative thing but also I've noticed within um, following the Morrigan I'm su supposedly at odds with the stereotype of what a witch is you know <laughs> I'm supposed to be gothic and all, all of you know that and I'm not and although I admire some of the things within the gothic culture is beautiful I'm not myself a part of the subculture so I said that I think I was born this way and I honestly do I think that a lot of things I did like innately as a child and without even even thinking about it and has just evolved into what this is I remember being seven and using a necklace like a pendulum I remember being very like very connected with animals very connected with nature like I said I would go watch the sunsets I would make up stories I, like to play outside in the garden more than anything else. I've, I was always very interested in things which are sort of stereotypically witchy like the fantasy realms and things like that and I was always very felt very connected to elements rather than it, it being like a lot of people are like those elements aren't complex enough or something when I was growing up and I was like well you can see those elements within everything no matter how complex it gets and people would just be like all right um negative people around me who were discouraging would be a bit like that so that sort of appealed to me and I loved candles and crystals like stereotype but I do and I love to create them myself now and to create process has actually helped me to connect to this path more than anything else in recent times because it's it's sort of listening to yourself and, and using what's available to you and sort of putting your heart and soul into something and then poof, you sort of manifest it in something creative like candles or whatnot which I most frequently do so 
I think that's going to be it for me for this first video. <laughs> I don't want to go too complicated into the whole being a witch, but to me a witch is to, if I had to sum it up, okay, is a, a deeper connection to the world around you and the understanding that you are responsible for your own energies and what you put out there and it's sort of the balance. Being a witch is all, for me, is all about the balance, the balance of yourself and balancing all opposing forces within your life really um, trying to be a, a good person trying not to be a negative person trying to balance um, everything everything you can think of you can go into really mundane things you know diet and exercise you could go into um, how much you really need to take from nature and to give back to nature, all these sorts of things, all these sorts of concepts come into play with this. So I hope I made some kind of sense for the first first week. Many blessings.